Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today is a video where I'm going to be sure, just basically telling you my top 5 tips for Clash Royale and what, what you should avoid in Clash Royale, what you shouldn't really do because it's a bit silly and common sense basically. So, starting at number 5. First of all, this is the thing we all probably did once in our Clash Royale time. May, commonly we start, if you're still doing it now, I can only say you're either a beginner or you just you just don't understand the concept of Clash Royale. Basically, this is using arrows on a king or a crown tower. Now, I don't blame you. We can't blame you if it's your first time playing Clash Royale because you don't know each and every card. You don't know its purpose and what it does. Which purpose is the same thing. Arrows is meant to tackle low HP like skeleton army, skeletons, minions. All them low HP. Not for crown health damage towers, towers. Even though it does have the factor of saying that, it doesn't mean you should immediately just use them. Even though it does, does reduce damage, it's not a lot. And second of all, for number four, is fireball on towers. It's the same concept, they're meant for barbarians. Fireballs are stronger, as you can see on screen now, it's a much stronger form of arrows. It can take out barbarians, or at least low HP. It can take out swarms of things. It can, so basically you could have a swarm of minions, um, barbarians, musketeer, and then you can just wipe them all out like that. Even three musketeers for that week. And they can even be used to take out elixir collectors and so these are just some of the things that you can um, use and just to point out to you guys as well, I should have said this at the start of the video I have a cold and so as you can tell I'm not the best so hopefully I will be better soon but moving on to tip number 3, this is, except is a tip for the game elixir management if you don't do elixir or manage your elixir or calculate you're going to lose every single game, or unless you actually just win. <laughs> because calculating your elixir is very important, because your elixir will cap off to 10. Your troops all cost different elixir. So, to have the elixir advantage, you must calculate how much your team has, your enemy has spent. So he could have unleashed barbarians at 5 elixir, got spear gomers at 2 elixir, he spent 7 elixir, leaving him with 3 elixir. You could have only spent that once on a baby dragon, which is 4 elixir. So this leaves you with 6 elixir. You have an elixir advantage. You can play something that's at 6 elixir. And you can either place arrows with another 3, three um, elixir. So it's all about having that elixir advantage. If you have the elixir advantage, you will pretty much win. And of course, not every it's hard in the game to calculate as you're trying as you're too busy trying to um defend and win. Uh for tip number two for one tip number two is I cannot stress this enough. This is actually not a tip properly, it's just a thing on TV Royale. If you don't know what TV Royale is, it's where you should know, it's where battles are shown on there and it's to watch and learn and it's just to see some best battles but I don't really agree these are the best battles for many reasons such as uh, unfair because there's a lot of level 1's in Arena 4 beating level 8's, 7's and even 9's because they're win trading win trading is where you purposely will let them win even though you should have won and to me Clash or well, Supercell isn't doing anything about it I don't see the point in this, you're just losing trophies for yourself and of course you don't want to be losing trophies, you want to get them better and just to upgrade now for my number one tip I don't know I don't, I don't know how, how much to say this but upgrade your cards always upgrade your cards for no reason whatsoever you shouldn't stop if you have enough go for it however do not upgrade cards that are epics and you don't use them because this is gold 
you need to save your gold. It's important to save gold. If you don't save your gold, you won't be able to upgrade and buy other things. So, my now I heard this from Nick and Knight, which is a popular uh, Clash Royale YouTuber. Links will be in the description. Um, he, if so, if you're using a common, get it to level six at least. Getting a common to level six isn't hard. You still at least have your common to level six. Um, I have, and unless you're not using them, but if you are using an epic upgrade it. If you're not using an epic and it needs upgrading, don't upgrade it because you're not using it. Even though you may want to use it just so you can get more XP, it's understandable, but you've got to be aware of your gold usages because gold cannot be farmed. This is Clash Royale, not Clash of Clans. So you cannot farm your gold. It'd be good if you could, but it won't make any sense. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. This is it for this for this tips. I will be doing more cross rail updates and my points and maybe even gameplay but the problem is with my gameplay I can't record my screen no matter how much I'm trying but I'll probably just use my capture card to record it as it'll be simple but from, for the time being I'll just use this background footage and yeah thank you guys for watching this video take care for the future. Peace!